hey guys assalamu alaikum it's me talha in this video i am going to show you how to create 3d floor plan renderings using revit and enscape before i get started i would like to let you know about my website learnrevitonline.com where you can get my revit interior courses you can follow the link in the description now let's get started so here i'm in revit and as you can see i have already opened this project i actually recorded the whole workflow of this project which i'm going to be uploading soon so be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications anyway i'm going to reduce the height of these walls because uh, i want to create the camera from this angle so let's do that let's select all of these walls and then just go here in the unconnected height I will just put 4 feet perfect now we can start the Enscape just go to Enscape tab and then click start so the Enscape is now started and the reason why it's looking like this is because of the settings I made earlier so let's reset uh, all the previous settings just go back to Revit click visual settings go to presets and uh, here we have reset to default just click and click yes and let's go back to Enscape there you go it's looking way better now now to create the 3d floor plan view we are not going to use this perspective view instead we are going to use the orthographic view which we can find here right now you can see it's set to perspective if i click on it we'll get uh, these two options we are going to use this orthographic just click there we go we got this cool looking uh, 3d floor plan here now if you want to rotate this view you can use left mouse button and to move the camera we can use these buttons w a s d and to take the camera up or down we can use e and q okay once you are happy with this you can just save this uh, camera view into your project so let's go back to revit and just close the settings and here we have create 3d view button just click on it let's call it isometric view and click ok and we can see that uh, camera view here now to use this view in Enscape we can select from this drop down here we have it let's just mark it as favorite so we can easily select this from Enscape window here you can see that view so once the camera view is ready we can now edit the settings and uh, make it look more realistic so first I'm going to change the day time so for that uh, you can just hold U or I key on your keyboard so I'm going to hold U key you can see the time changing here so I want to bring the sunlight from here so I will just hold I key perfect now let's just take the escape here and I just take the Revit on this side and then go to settings visual settings first we want to add the outlines so the edges of these walls uh, will be more visible so let's click on these three dots and set value if you want you could use the slider I'm going to give the value here around 15 maybe now you can see the edges of these walls are uh, more clear now let's increase the exposure i will make it around 65 perfect now let's go to image and here we want to reduce the highlights because you can see the walls are way too bright so we can fix that by reducing the highlights i'm going to leave it at minus 30 now we want to reduce the shadows as well because you can see the shadows are too dark i want to make them lighter so let's reduce the shadows i will make it zero now i want to increase the saturation 
and you will see the effect on the floor if I increase it I'll just leave it at 110 now uh, the color temperature I want to reduce to make it a bit warmer let's leave it at 5500 perfect now we don't want any lens flare so let's make it zero as well as bloom now let's go to atmosphere tab and then uh, we want to increase the sun brightness perfect now i want to reduce the saturation a bit let's make it 107 now go back to atmosphere and we want to reduce the shadow sharpness as well and the background is already set to white ground if it's not you can just click on this drop down and select from here and we don't need to do any changes here for this uh, 3d flow plan rendering now i think it's ready we can now uh, render this so before that i want to increase the quality let's open up the settings again and go to rendering and increase the rendering quality to ultra and then go to capture and just change the resolution to ultra hd and the file format i want to use jpeg now let's render it let's go back to inkscape and i'm going to press ctrl plus one which is the hotkey i set to export the inkscape renderings you can set your own um, shortcut key in the general settings here just go to general settings then input and you can put your own screenshot hotkey here so as you can see i put ctrl plus one and i'm going to press that let's save it here 3d floor plan and save so the rendering is now finished let's see that and you can see it's looking just amazing and how easy it was to create this cool looking 3d floor plan rendering using Enscape. so that's it for this video i'm going to upload the whole workflow video of this project soon so be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications and uh, you can check out my other Enscape for revit tutorials as well you can follow the link in the description so that's it see you guys in the next video